My name is Nick Metcalf. I'm a sports chiropractor and currently working in a multidisciplinary medical team for a Premier League football club. It appears the demand for chiropractors in sport is increasing. Chiropractic formed part of the core medical service at the past two Olympic Games, and some form of manipulative therapy is now commonplace in almost all elite sporting environments. It's an exciting time for the profession. So if I'm a chiropractor looking to work in sport, what knowledge, skills and experience do I need? This presentation will focus on exactly that. It's a chiropractor's pathway to professional sport. A good place to start is a general overview of the chiropractic profession as a whole. Chiropractors have a high level of competency in the diagnosis and management of disorders of the neuromuscular skeletal system. The undergraduate degree is a four or five year master's degree and the General Chiropractic Council is the statutory regulator of all chiropractors in the UK. The professions of Royal College, that's the Royal College of Chiropractors, have three main remits, postgraduate education, research, and the setting of clinical standards for chiropractors. A sports chiropractor, quite simply, has the additional training and experience to be able to work with athletes. They deal with the conservative management of sports injuries, so that's the ability to diagnose and assess sports injuries and based on this assessment create a plan of management to get the athlete out of injury and return them back to their sport. They assess the function of the neuromuscular skeletal system with the aim of helping athletic performance and they use a multimodal approach to treatment. So that's a combination of manipulation alongside soft tissue or myofascial therapies combined with exercise rehabilitation as well. Chiropractors work particularly well in a multidisciplinary setting and it's these settings where they may utilise the skills of the other therapists around them and, and may specialise a little bit more and a chiropractor's special, specialty may involve manipulation or spinal function. If we go back to further education and training, the relevant credentials for a sports chiropractor include the ICCSP, that's the Internationally Certified Chiropractic Sports Practitioner Programme. It's a postgraduate certificate awarded by, by FIX, that's the International Federation for Sports Chiropractors. It's considered the appropriate minimum standard in theoretical and practical sports chiropractic education. So chiropractors wanting to develop a special interest or a special competence in the field of sports chiropractic. From there, the Royal College of Chiropractors Sports Faculty offers a progression pathway from licentiate to membership to fellow. And that's the equivalent of, of bronze to silver to gold that you may see in other professions that work in sport. And lastly, more formal university qualifications involve a postgraduate certification, a postgraduate diploma, or a full master's in sports and exercise medicine or similar. The Royal College of Chiropractors Sports Faculty is the UK's National Council for Sports Chiropractic. We mentioned earlier it's got three main remits, it's um, education, training and clinical research and it's into the cause and prevention of sports related injuries and the optimisation of athletic performance. We also mentioned that it provides a nurturing supportive environment for junior chiropractors and we've seen already how it has a progression pathway from licentiate to member to fellow. But we know that chiropractors need more hands-on experience treating athletes and the Royal College provides a number of volunteering opportunities at a national level working with athletes each year and through the Royal College membership you also get free membership to, to FIX, that's the International Sports Chiropractic Federation and through FIX there are a number of international volunteering opportunities as well. If you're a junior chiropractor looking to progress from licentiate to member to fellow Let's walk you through the route. First thing to point out is that there's a formal qualifications route and an experiential route as well. And you can progress using a combination of both routes. Entry level is an associate member. You just have to demonstrate interest in sports chiropractic. This means the faculty welcomes new graduates. A licentiate or bronze member must complete the Royal College's postgraduate training programme and then have gone on to complete the ICCSP qualification. As we said earlier, that's the minimum standard for sports chiropractors. In academic terms, these things are deemed equivalent to 60 N-level credits. Next level up, a full member or silver level member requires another 60 M-level credits on top of this. 
Following the qualifications route, this would be a postgraduate qualification in sports and exercise medicine or similar. Or following the experiential route, then credits are awarded for time spent working with sports teams or at a major sporting event. Finally, a fellow or gold member requires a further 60 M level credits, that's a total of 180 by this point. A fellow must have at least five years postgraduate experience. As well as a progression pathway for chiropractors, you can see how, if you're looking to recruit a sports chiropractor for your team, you may have a quick understanding of their level of experience by looking at their membership status with the Royal College. 2019 will see the introduction of competency-based membership of the sports faculty. It will follow pretty much the same route as we've just described, however if you're following the route from licentiate to member or member to fellow, you'll be required to demonstrate a set of carefully defined skills and competencies in order to progress. Lastly, and putting it all together, we've seen how a role in professional sport requires the right credentials. But even with these, a role in sport is still not a formality. If we have a look at other chiropractors who work in sport, it's quite often that they've spent a number of years working in amateur and semi-professional sporting environments, often volunteering for a number of years, um, but these environments are, are great areas to, to make mistakes and learn, but also to meet new people. But it definitely requires a, a long-term view and a passion for sport. It's while working in these environments where they meet people and follow these, these relationships over a number of time, and quite often it's these other people in sport, whether it's the athletes, the coaches, or the other professionals, that invite the chiropractor to work in professional sport a number of years later. The key take home, I guess, is that by following all the ideas in this presentation, when an opportunity does come around, the chiropractor is in an excellent position to be able to make the most of it. So in summary, we've learned that chiropractic is a regulated healthcare profession, and that sports chiropractors are competent in the assessment and management of sports injuries. It appears as though the demand for sports chiropractors is increasing, and we know that they follow established routes to achieve competency in the care for athletes. They are active and willing participants in multidisciplinary medical sports teams. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening.